Time being 6.33, I call the Halifax Planning Board into session. Um, uh, members present, um, Jonathan, Mark, and Gordon. Um, on the agenda, we have a site plan review for Pope's Tavern. Uh, informal discussion for signed for Industrial Drive, Form A for Bradford White, 233 South Street, site plan review for Bob McAlee, um, 413 Plymouth Street, site plan review for uh, Ferrara on 320 Montpensier Street, a Form A for Joe and Linda McCarthy on 10 Thompson Street, and a site plan review submitted for solar farm on River Street. Do I have a motion to accept the agenda as read? I think a motion to accept the agenda as read. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So Pope Tavern is just going to be a continuous. Mm -hmm. So what I need is a, a motion to accept the request for the um, Continuance for Aaron, is it the site plan? The continuance for the site plan for Pope's Tavern. You make a motion to accept the request for a continuance for 60 days for the site plan for Pope's Tavern. Address. Address. Five oh six. Five oh six Street. Second that motion. And what's the date that runs up? No, no, the 60 um, days. 60 days from today would bring it to uh, May 3rd or April 30th or May 1st. So let's call it April 30th. Okay. So we continue to April 30th. Second that motion. I have a motion seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's a minute, I think. Yeah, we need to sign. Thank you. <coughs> that top. Will we? Uh, oh, under there. Right. Mm -hmm. Are you guys here for? Yeah, for a on the street. Fairly formal, yes, but we have to form A first. Okay. Two, three, well, we have. I want to keep in your If that's okay. Yeah, I've got some background here. There he is. So do justice. There it is. Hey, Carlos. All just the tardiness. That's okay. Unacceptable. We arrived at 638, I think.
Schweiz. See this for the one space for somebody. But this comes space. back to my if that garage is just his garage, he doesn't have to provide parking for it. Now, you see what, what I'm saying? Personal garage, this right? Is this, this is what he wrote. This is what I wrote. selectment for his class two license. That's what he yeah. wrote as far as a proposal. He hasn't really given us a formal letter of intent. That's why I thought what the use of the garage made a difference. If it's just his personal garage, then I don't think he would have to provide the extra spots for it. But, but he's saying it's a vehicle service station, right. right? So he doesn't want to use it for commercial use. Eventually, no. yeah. But no, so that was the thing is that's not what he said. He said it was just going to be him working on the cops. That's so what the plan says. But that's what the plan says. But that's that's what the plan says. Yeah. Well, no, no, but that's why I said to him, like, you know, if if that's your intent, maybe this does not represent what he plans on doing. Right. Yeah, yeah. it was my and point. He's also like, make sure that. Just maybe not now. He just wants to get something up and running. I just thought it was in his best interest. Like, if you're not going to be using this as a business, don't don't account for it. Yeah. And I would argue I that would you probably don't have to interest. get the parking for the business plus the parking as if it were office yeah. space or whatever it is. You kind of yeah you know, mixing yourself there. Right. Plus. Right. So then you could open up all those spots. That's what I thought. So for later on, you don't want the garage being opened up as a service station and selling cars. And well, that's fine because then you just revoke the car sales and then you free up those spots or some configuration. Or if he's providing for the landscape business, then he's got to, at that point, pick and choose. Well, either way, he's got to go back to the zoning board to even build that garage. Because uh, the square footage. So if he comes in to the building department for a building permit, yep. we're going to deny him. What's the threshold? 884 square feet. Why does he need a special permit though for her? Because you can only build up to 884 square feet. For a uh, of with oh, okay. a special permit. Okay. Yeah, special. Right. Seems like this homework to be done. Mm -hmm. And right. the repair service station needs a special permit as so. well. Okay. But am I right to assume that if it, if it were purely a repair service station facility, you would not be counting your parking based on the square footage and the employees in the service space? You're, you're picking one. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. One or the other. Yeah. But wasn't he also trying to... The trailer on there too? For yeah, that, that, that was going to be his office. Yeah, he took that out. Yeah. I, it was, uh, 
that was a tough one. Steve and I said, I'm like, well, we're going to have to have a little time because I'm going to have to figure that one out because we, we allow temporary trailers for construction sites for mm -hmm. subdivisions. And then we only, the only other allowance we have in town is inside the mobile park. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the, it was, it was a tough was there one. Before it had 15 pounds in a five pound bag, mm -hmm. and it looked like he was trying to put 25 in there. Okay. Yeah, there was a lot going on. And it's like not on the whole lot, it's just on that piece of the lot. Yeah, that's why I was saying to see if he, if, if he wasn't coming in here, then to use a little more of this and at least get his landscape stuff or something. I don't know. If he wants to do all that stuff, to utilize more of the property. And that would almost think too, if it's going to be a repair facility, you're going to have cars that are subject to leaking oil and whatnot, that he might want to pay the parking lot to and install some stormwater controls, things of that nature. So he is coming back, or are we going to request him to come back? We can request him to come back, yeah. Um, yeah. And anything other than the house you want specifically requested from him, other than how many he wants to sell, how many landscaping vehicles. Um, you just said something about strong water drain. Yeah, confirm what the intended uses are going to be. He's not proposing any pavement from the looks of it. Yeah. No, and I know from working in Hanover, they've got issues where they just don't allow car dealerships in some of the more sensitive areas because of everything that can infiltrate into the ground and ultimately get in the groundwater table and whatnot, especially in areas where you've got cars that are coming in, but specifically because they are broken. Right. Yeah, I kind of think of one of the things I was familiar with was they actually just had him put a membrane underneath because they didn't want to gravel it, but they at least gave him something that was impervious underneath. Yeah, so you could capture a control and put a cash basin with a hood on it so that the oil's not going anywhere. So I think if he's selling cars, he doesn't want a messy parking lot. The dirt's always going to be kicking up. Okay. Video. Yeah, we just, just just wait for it to air. Yeah. Then... <laughs> you might make your coffee. Yeah. You might make your coffee. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay, um, and there's a form in there too that the. Um... When did this get? Did this get submitted? So we only get 45 days. Yes. But that's for the Board of Selectmen for his Class Two license. I just wrote on it that um, the site plan review is required, but not approved at this time. I just need somebody to sign it. Yes. What the hell is going on? Marks, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what is triggering the site plan review on this one? <laughs> Again, because Jason said you're going to do all your land. <laughs> he's not, he's not he's doing this one because he wants to do good successes. <laughs> and the guy before him. But um, that's a use thing. Does he do that already? How does it? Well, he also, yeah, he wants to do the repair shop. So. Is there a new structure over a certain size requires? Well, yeah, it's, it's a whole new ballgame, really, because. He wants to do a car repair shop. He wants to do use cars. He wants to run his landscaping business out of there. So yep. all of a sudden we've got three things going on. Yep. And again, it's a case of making sure that you guys know who's going in and out and what they're doing and making sure they're complying with it. Yep. Are you here for the uh, site plan for solar? Yep. I realize you're not going to do a lot, but we we could take you early. I'm I did you on for eight o'clock. I don't have the next thing. The engineer's not here. No, he's not coming in. Oh, he's not. No. Oh. He didn't. He didn't need to. Right, I didn't need to either. But <laughs> I also. And you are. Learned over my 48 years. Always show up. Just show up <laughs> yeah. because somebody might have a question. I, and you are who? Ed Angley. Oh, okay. 
Could you sign in for me, please? I could. Well, you can do what you want to do. Okay. Well, basically, yeah. we were going to, um, or I was going to show them the site plan. Okay. Um, this is for a solar farm down on River Street. And who reads that? Well, that would be up to you guys to either read or send it out for um, peer review. Let's see what it says. This is the last bit of screw right? Yes. Thank you. Well, I actually do know a lot about it. Oh, you do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I do. Okay. How much money is it going to make? A lot. <laughs> the, the, you know, just, I'll give you an explanation of what happens. It's a smart program, and they're going to open it up June the state and they they dedicate blocks you know, like a hundred meg and you can bid and you can only do 4.97 something nine nine and if you're the first person in you get so many cents per kilowatt if you don't make that round in the next round it goes down four percent then it keeps going down four percent and so the people I represent uh, want to get in first because you, when you spread that, it doesn't sound like much 4%, but if you spend it over 20 years, 5 megawatts, you know, you say, that's a lot, in 20 years, that's a lot of talk. Uh, so anyway, that's why they're pressing to get forward on it. And uh, yeah, I mean, having to deal with, with uh, the Hesse Otis and John Peck, but he's been sick, so we're dealing with his lawyer down in Rhode Island. <clears throat> and I just did the title and I find title fails. So, well, great. It was, on, it was under water, wasn't it? <laughs> Some of it. <laughs> you, know, you ever look back on the kickback? You ever look back on that? Back on the, when they went all the way to the Supreme Court? Mm -hmm. Supreme Court said, you lose, and this whole section, you can never touch it again. So, we're not in that section. <laughs> <laughs> it's close, it's close, but it's not right there. Look at that to bar. So, I believe the, uh, that's River Street. Okay, I believe that the, that the proposed marijuana farm yeah. is here. And we're going to develop not the entire thing because we've got the wetlands and we have to say, you know, back the, the setbacks. Uh, we're going to fence it. We've been in, uh, been extremely helpful, has been the building inspector and the fire chief. They've given us a whole bunch of suggestions, which we said, fine, we'll do all of them. Uh, another big expense is they have to bring three phases. Um, so it can interconnect back into the system. And, uh, Where is it coming from? There. Yeah, so it might be Wood Street or something. Hmm? It's going to be past Wood Street, right? Mm -hmm. Three phases. Because I know you got the big transformer sitting on the corner. All right, so I think we went over the there. thing that once you get out to 105 or Middleborough, and Middleborough is their own municipal power, so right. it's got to come from right. the other it's side. Yeah. It's in grid. National Grid. <coughs> the National Grid is studying it now, and uh, they'll come. They'll come back and say, "Yeah, we'll accommodate you where we won't accommodate you." But they make you pay this massive amount of money up front, non-refundable, of course. To decide. Yeah, and then. <coughs> but we, our understanding is that it can actually be. Uh, they can actually accommodate us. If you were to go to anything bigger than this, you'd have to tie into National Grid and well, you'd have to tie into that uh, uh, Eversource, 
the main transmission line. That's another whole ball game, but that's having to bring it here over here. Oh yeah, because I think that crosses South Street somewhere, but that's nowhere that close. No, it'd be pretty pretty difficult. It covers River Street. It crosses River Street. Ah, oh, does it? Why is there a source of power down here? Middle Well, the yeah, the transmission line. Eversource bought Boston Edison. Yeah. It became Boston Edison. Yeah. And uh, they when they when they did the deregulation, they split uh, generation from transmission. Yeah. And they sold off the nuclear plant in Plymouth to uh, Energy. Yeah. And they retained all the transmission. So they they own the lines. Oh, so even though they don't provide service to Halifax, they still have many transmissions running through here? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how they broke that up. I live in Plymouth and I got that source. Yeah. Yeah, they feel. That's not too many, huh? <laughs> yeah. But it, it really isn't worth doing this sort of thing unless you have some scale. And the nice thing for the town is it's revenue and no kids in school. Don't ask for much. Don't have any, you don't really need police. Rare, you probably don't need fire except in some Rare. some Rare. strange Rare. reason. Yeah, but it's like kind of self-sufficient. You get because all the other ones are dealt with, even if they had a building, they said that there's there's not really a maintenance guy. There's not nope. a lot of traffic in and out. It's well, if there's one cause an issue, they know exactly which one it is. A lot of them have these uh, built, basically a built-in chip that lets them know which one's failing. I think that's correct. Yeah. All right. How do you how do you mow the grass on here? I see the well. Area. Is they'll do it twice a year, and because they are up, they, they are somewhat Foot off the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So there's room to get underneath. Like a weed whacker? I'd have to do a hand mow, you know, like a mowing or something. Eagles big. Yeah, take, take your old summer. Yeah, well, you know, it's way out, way out there. Nobody's going to see anybody out there. Mm -hmm. I guess the it's one just, thing is, is how you going to protect, I mean, what is it, what's the fence, what's the seven foot high fence? It, it's six chamber. feet and then one foot of barbed wire. And then probably a gate around there. Because yeah, the one thing is, is dirt oh, yeah, bikes not gonna going on that thing access road would be insane. insane. Well, there'll be a gate. Yeah. And it will be a secondary access with the uh, box box yeah. for the fire yeah. and police, if they need. Yeah. We joke in Plymouth that we never give the police those keys because we can't trust them. That's what I say to my friends who walk around. Yeah, there's always a key on a, on a tree nearby. Or why, why do we need barbed wire fence around this? That's because because you want to keep the, the kids, you know, it's a challenge. Yeah. I, I, when you were a kid, didn't you? There was some fence. Did you go over it? Didn't exist back then. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. a fence someplace. You went over it. Just someone dares you to do something. You just I'm just surprised they don't have a razor wire. Well, well, you get my <laughs> <for that. laughs> But it's really quite fascinating how the, uh, they collect it, they collect it to different spots, different spots, and then it all gets down to one location, and then it's, uh, it's, it's all DC to that point. And then, they, then they convert it to AC. Uh, they're always rated in AC by, by regular, state regulation. Yeah, is there any landscaping along the, the front of the road there, at least to give it some sort of a visual? We're going really to maintain the 20 foot buff. We're going to maintain the whatever buff the bylaw uh, mm -hmm. requires. Okay. And uh, even though building inspector said you probably didn't have to do that, yeah. we just did it. Just, yeah. And then keep the existing tree line. Right. To kind of keep it in sight for people to even drive by it. They don't even see it. I'm, I'm deaf in my right ear. To I mean, so totally no. deaf. So I'm not saying anything bad. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I didn't know if you were asking. Anything. No, no. You got two civil engineers on here. How did uh, how did they tie together there? 
Well, you've got prime engineering, yeah. or civil, and then you've got the electrical engineers. Uh -huh. If you tell me the name, I remember it. Krebs. Krebs in... Yeah, it's in the list, you got Krebs in yeah. the in Vermont. <coughs> yes, <coughs> daily, daily uh, electrical engineers, because these have to be care highly engineered for the electrical grid. I mean, the grid on site. That's good country. Yeah, you had two other folks for the electric design, too. Maybe these guys did the wetlands delineations or something? Well, Silva did the wetlands, working for Passiotas. Yeah. And then we hired Prime to put everything else together. They filed a, uh, an NRAD with the Conservation Commission, and I don't know if they got the notice of intent filed yet, but I think they did. Okay. Uh, to, to go in for that. And so that's what Prime is doing, plus the civil. Some of the property is, I believe, um, in the flooding. Is there a map that shows that? I don't think any of the panels are in the flood. The, um, yeah, so you got 30, 35, so this is coming up. So the first page? 30, yeah, 25. This is your screen, right? Run through here. Mm -hmm. I highlighted the octave on the first page. It's new. Okay, how do you flood is? That's going to have to see where I'm not going to get it. I'm wondering if it used to be blue before the yellow. It might have been. Yes, well, the second page. It's up to me. See any green lines, or it has blue. If it's a regular, yeah. regular dash line is soil map, and if it's squared, then it's. Let's look for the wetlands, right? Should we go That's through what I was, here. I was yeah. looking for the lowest. It does go through here. Yeah, these are all the wetlands, right? All right so yeah, there you go. And then it pops out there a little bit. Is that how the, the panels were laid out? Oh, well, there's the blue dash. So what's on there right now? It's all just fields for the most part, right? Yeah, yeah you know where they fly the planes? Yeah. That's like right in there. No, they're, they're over there. Oh, really? Yeah. I know that they're on back. It's, so so is, is, this not <coughs> out this is this not the piece of property that... It's in front of us. Oh, there two no, also the only reason I'm asking is because the guy from that does the planes was here because it was the parcel mm -hmm. that he flies them on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there, are you saying there's a second one behind it? Is there two phases to this plan ultimately, potentially? This one's sound of the question. It's, it's, as a practical matter, yep. no. But in the, in the spirit of being fully forthright, yep. we said there's potential. Okay. That's, that's where I was telling you, because you need to tie into the uh, ever source. Yeah. You got to make it worth it. Wow. Well, yeah, that's the four base. So, okay. so this is what we just. All right. This is lot one. Okay. Yeah, so then, then they fly the planes just right here, correct? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, uh, it's fine. And I, I just think wanted to make sure that there wasn't, because uh, I knew this, this was going to be the, the uh, marijuana. That, uh, okay. No, that was going to be the other side. The other side. The other side. Over up there, right? Oh, that's right. The other side. Yeah, because yeah. I think I was confused last time because of the break, and I didn't, I was trying to figure out how far off of 105 this was. Yeah, so lot two is just a lot of street right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
pretty good at reading upside down. Mm. Yeah, it's 4.95 megawatts. Are you guys looking to do any grading on the site? Well, not very much. It's, it's been farmed for 30 plus years. And I know that it was farmed up until 2016 at least. From, air, from aerial maps. Yeah. Showing on that plan that the weapons up there. Yeah. Yeah. There's no panels. You don't think they actually give me a full size copy of this stuff, so that can be. We can post script it in over the ground. Are they actually set to the ground or it's just the concrete block set, set in the ground? Uh, it's just for the three strands of fence. Ooh, three strands of barbed wire? That's nice. technically required according to the ordinance, but I think it would be nice if the you know the front there could be somehow landscaped or shielded so you don't know, not coming down the street sure. looking at something that looks industrial, right? Yeah, I know the other one um, proposed the you know the vinyl slats in the yeah. fence. I don't know if that uh, out there would be a place you need to put that. Yeah, I think uh, it's more I think it's true. I think it's just some landscape. Just yeah. some Stuff that some green or some arbor vitae and some pine trees or something like that. Something that will be self sufficient for the most part, you yeah. know. Not but the place is open yeah. field right now. Increasingly, you know, stuff I've worked on, we, uh, we get landscape architects that get native stuff, just like you said. Yeah. Because it does, you don't have to fool with it. Yeah. Plant it and, it and it grows. It may not grow as fast as exotic things you bring in, but it, it stays. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to be looking for relief on anything, or is this fully compliant? As far as I know it is. My well, entry's looking for a couple of thousand bucks. It's all good. I don't think we take care of it. For, for training or whatever. Yeah. There's, no, there's no problem with that. You know, You're why do you think wise and pound foolish about that? It's just a training tool. Interesting. We're going to be meeting with the selectmen. They meet on Tuesdays? Yes. I think it's the 20th we meet with the selectmen to discuss the, the pilot to come up with. Nobody seems to know. Uh, there's no regulations. The state hasn't come out with guidance on it yet, what you're supposed to do, how you do it. Mm. And they just leave the towns and the applicants to wing it. But uh, we asked the question, what happens if you have a pilot? They really want to, I don't know. Mm. We'll work it out. So the, is there any building proposed at all? I saw the, the Tesla battery. Spot that's, there. That's, that's, that's So is that inside a building? I'm not familiar with what, what that actually is. Is that an enclosed building or is it's that a, just it's a enclosed? It's a okay. bunker sort of thing. Okay. But again, no employees. It's just a self-sufficient, yeah, just machinery. It'd be somebody who'd come. Somebody would come down here periodically. This is usually said they have a they have chips that will yeah. send one. They don't want to bust it up. Yeah, so somebody five states away gets a blip and <laughs> sends somebody out. Yeah. Well their uh, their offices are in the 
North Shore, I forget the name of the town. Bolton, maybe. They mainly work, uh, all their work has been in Vermont, solar fields. But with the SMART program that, that came out, it's uh, worth while taking a shot at it. National fireworks. Yeah, did they actually do some sort of arms testing or they manufactured in Hanover? There was okay. a testing range down there. Where they where they thoroughly polluted. There's a super site in Hanover. Yeah, they're still cleaning down. Oh yeah. They bankrupted several companies. But they I think what they did was come down here and blow them off. Probably shooting them over into the swamp. Mm. I have a feeling that's what those little bunk, those little concrete structures were. Or something. Yeah, they were. They started in 1942, and they ceased in 57, uh, when they sold it to Susquehanna Corporation, uh, Maryland. Are they good use for the land, then, especially if there. Mm -hmm. It's probably good use for the land. So Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't bother anybody. And it and it does produce clean energy, so why not? Yeah. What carbon emissions coming from it. So this is the submission tonight? Yeah, we're gonna come back at some point, I believe, after April fifth. To it forty five days from today. Forty five days is April fifth. Sure. If you want to tell us what you want, I mean, I know he said put some landscaping, fine, I'm more than happy to do that. Yeah. Anybody else? I mean, no. <coughs> Is it going to be a place to pull up and charge cars over front? No. Have to fly it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's waiting for it to fall. <laughs> The uh, Natural Heritage gave us a pass. There's apparently some bird that's on their watch list. And they said, nah, I won't bother. Did they say that? Oh, no, no train and smithers on turtles or anything? <laughs> no. Look, birds can fly in under the panels. And probably the deer and come at the bar. But I'm on the I guess. They got six inches to get underneath it. <laughs> Don't get me going on, on that stuff. It just drives me crazy. <clears throat> you know, with all the clean energy that you want, plus with all the space that we've got, you know, 100 square miles, town meeting in its wisdom passed a bylaw that says you can't have a solar field over five acres. Well, how many people want to make one less? <laughs> right? Not it, was, it was the very people. Who have taken over town meeting? Hmm. They banned commercial. When you can't build, they not go solar. Last spring, got the best gravel in the state. They want to hold off for some more money. <laughs> nope. I represent PA Landers. <laughs> but they forgot about the fact that you freeze your zoning if you file a subdivision plan. <laughs> they were horrified. Anyway, yeah. so when are we coming back? April 5th. April 5th. Mr. Watson already knows all the details. You don't think he held <laughs> That's not <funny. laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you guys have already spoken to the, to the uh, fire chief. Yeah, we've had two meetings with the fire chief and the building inspector. Okay. And, and we, we will be sending out notices to all the abutters. Yep. For the April 5th. So that will be the full yard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Sir? Actually, I, I'm, I'm not disputing you, and I don't care. But I looked up, and I said, I looked at your bylaw, and it doesn't have anything about notifying a bar. No, but we did that for the last one, so it's, and it's not a, and it's not a special permit. Nope. It's not a, you know, statutory notices like certain things. It is not, but we've already had inquiries, so we just yeah, said that it's, it would be, uh, just let me know that it's well, not before that. You, you only have one neighbor, right? And he's the guy who owns the piece of property. Oh, no, we have a well, no, what happens is, even though you formulated it, it's still all in, in, in uh, that's the oldest uh, okay. ownership. And so you got it all the way around. I was thinking he owns everything around it, but yeah, I, I got to know the file yeah. people on the other edges of it. So, I thought it was within 300 feet. Of the whole property. It's a big property. So is one separated out? Is this one separated out? It's been made a separate parcel, but it hasn't been sold yet. So I, yes, you I don't believe it's been recorded yet either. So yes, it is. It's been okay, recorded. We'll need a copy of the recording. But then notification should be just based on the parcel mm. on which the project is proposed. That's right. what I would have thought. Yeah. Doesn't matter if, long as the if you give property. if you give me an email address, I will. Uh, email you a copy of the recorded plan. We have Gary Alger, who's the attorney for Passiotos, went and recorded it. And then he just went back to Rhode Island. So. I thought you'd be retired by now. Oh, I'm having too much fun. What would I do? Sit around my house. <laughs> I go nuts. Yeah. That was my mind. Yeah. I really cut down. I don't. I don't do half, of, even a quarter of what I used to do. Yeah. I don't take anything I don't like. <laughs> if you want to have somebody peer review this thing, then like, would we have to decide that now? Or? Well, it would be easier if we did do that now. Just to get it sort of comments out of the way. Send it out. I, because I've always wondered how these solar panels work. I know the ground stays the same, but you're changing and concentrating in the way the drainage kind of hits the ground, and then whether or not that gets channelized or flows any differently. Is it packed, know, is it packed it gravel up. around them, do you know? No. Okay. It's just going to be the natural grass, right? Because it's just going to the same. And just drill in each one of the post yeah. foundations and sticking the just put the post in. But then when you're looking at it from the sky, it's all going to be solar panels, basically, as if you were... Right. There's, there's a, a certain, certain angle. funky angle, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a, a certain, certain angle that they're at, and there's a certain separation, yeah. because you don't want them shading each other. Yeah. So that, I don't know what that... Angle is. Angle yeah, is, yeah. but it has to be certain separation. That's yeah. why there's plenty of room to get through them, you know, down the, the roads. And that gives you yeah. access to fix them too if you need to. So I don't know, I don't even know if it's worthwhile that you guys have any opinion on that. I, I don't consider it. I don't think we did a lot one on the last one. Uh, yeah, just because I, I think the impact on it's minimal. Yeah, the report says nothing changed. Basically it's what the report says. That's what he said. I read most of it. It's, it's an easy one. Beginning and ending, it's the same thing. I don't know Prime Engineer. Yeah. I've never worked with him. Okay. But, uh, That's your homework. Go to ex <laughs> it's been down to exit 5 on Route 3 at Plymouth. Yeah, I've seen They have the solar panel sitting on the... Yeah. I, go, I, I go by there, I don't know how many times a day, and I keep observing the broken panels. I, Oh, no, people must throw stuff on the highway. Throw them off. It's a target, right? Yeah. Like you said about climbing the fence, same thing. Yeah. I don't care what's on the other side, it's the challenge of climbing the fence. Right. You need to put a mesh netting over the whole 34 for 30 net acres. And you look in the sun, you got a problem, right? And then uh, President it. Trump put in a 30% tariff on solar panels. So yeah. Well, I'm not President Trump, but it was the government put in. Which Kicking the cost up. 
Is that only now, for China? Was that, that, that wasn't the Canadian. It was my understanding that the Canadian panels are the ones that have been put in in town already. I don't know if that's where you guys would get them. As a, I don't know where they would get them. China was the biggest producer in the world. Yeah, but they were also undercutting everybody. I guess. Yeah, the government subsidizing the construction. Yeah. I think. Remember that? What was it? What President Obama had a, a big push on some big solar companies? He put millions and millions into it and went, out, went under. Because yeah. the Chinese just undersold them. Yeah. Evergreen? Mm -hmm. Evergreen? I think the that's. The one that was in Fort Devens? I think one of the tax break here. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, frankly, they couldn't I, compete. The, the economics of these things yeah. is. That if they weren't subsidized, it wouldn't be worth it. They wouldn't be worth it. Wind power's same thing. Right. Mm -hmm. But wind's gone. Nobody wants the damn things now. And they require a big interconnect. Right. Well, I'll see you in a while, and I'll send you that thing tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Hey, stop following me around. <laughs> I tell you, this is that. For me. Okay. Um, the next thing was, this is just uh, to let you guys know also that um, where Halifax Pizza was, then it was Bella's, and that was Mr. Pizza and Subs, is now going to be famous Pizza and Seafood. Sounds great. There's nothing for us to act on that. No. no. Sounds like a fabulous name. Wait, how many Let's pizza places going. in a row was that? It would be nice if we had something to eat while oh, we <laughs> Bellas. It's three. This will be four. Good. It's same use. Yeah. Um, as far as not a good track record. No. Yeah. Maybe, Maybe, yeah. Maybe they had to try something different today. Okay. Um, 61A parcels. Um, I guess we have a offering. Uh, any um, properties that are 61A, which is um, ever comfortable exempt. From taxes, mm -hmm. if they decide to sell the property, they have to offer it to the commercial. town first. So here's some uh, really? properties. Mm -hmm. So if if you own a farm and you have tax exempt because it's a farm, and you then go to sell it, yeah, we have the first choice to buy it if we want. Do we get to pick our price? I don't know how that works. That, that's tax exempt as opposed to tax. Uh, the taxes are lower for. Oh yeah, so they're not tax exempt. They, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. The the taxes are discounted. Missed by three acres. <laughs> what is their minimum size? Five acres. Five acres. Right? Yeah. You have you to have show to, profit. And you have to show. Yeah. I would have done something. I had three acres. more acres. How much money do you have to make per year? Do you know? Show profit. Just go show profit, because otherwise the the state will see it as a hobby if you break even or lose money. You have yeah, two you years have to, to like prove once, that. right? Yeah. And two is years. that, is that yeah. on the value of the land, or is it the land and the house? Okay. Don't know. Because I'd, <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be curious. You I'd be curious how that. Nice I believe, I don't guess we're at you down a little bit. He actually, I believe he actually had to cut out, I like, think, he had to cut out the land and then put it back in. Yeah, I can they got goat scraping now, have you seen that? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Goats on your land. Five acres on land. You, you bring the goat around in a little trailer and eat everybody's lawn down with good heights? What are we doing? Do we, uh... Tax exempt. Just see my real estate taxes. But I'm missing three acres, so... Plus my next door neighbor wants to sell his house. I'll take it. Is you in the Carlson? Used to be. Oh. So it's 
So if anyone has any interest, I would want to buy any property. Yes. We can all put our salaries together. Is it just one that's for sale right now? And they all have to be for sale at the same time? It's one. What's the price? The owner has different properties. Yeah. Did they say the price on there, Gordon? No. No. 99 Fuller Street. Let's see what this I think that's like. one of them. I think it's the This is the house and the... That's the house. The house and the different pieces. Yeah. But it's all the same owner. Right? I believe so. So it's just a matter of if the planning board thinks it's a good idea that the town starts to acquire some property. What's your recommendation? Well, what's the town going to do? Flip it? You no, know, I think that we should look at it because I know how the, the town accepts like the wetlands pieces and the donations and things like that. I don't know, know how much that's in the town's best interest. Well, in this case, what does the town have? I don't want to say it. What does the town have to lose? Because technically they are tax exempt. But, but the town has to buy it, and I can buy it. Correct. The town has to buy it. Even they can flip it. Yeah, but even if the town, yeah. even if, <laughs> they, saying, they can subdivide it. If the taxes is, are just lower, right, and then say the next person doesn't apply for the farm thing, then that's taking money away from the town that it would be collecting. If it comes out of farm, they got to pay the taxes back. Look at it this way. Why don't we just do, like, for example, they're talking about affordable, like affordable housing with houses that have gone, um, like abandoned and such. We're, we're taking care of those houses too. I mean, technically we didn't pay for them, but we are paying for them in a sense, because they're not tax exempt and we're basically losing the tax money on that. In well, if they're taking those, they didn't get the tax money, that's why they're taking them. I know. So it did cost us money. I know it did. That's what I'm saying. It's, it costs us money there too, even if the if someone just walked away from their house. But this is they're, gonna, they're putting this up for sale. Somebody's gonna buy it from market value and it's gonna yeah. go back into taxation. The town buys it. Yeah, that's not we pay the tax. Be curious to see what the property's there. We're all right in one big chunk somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Then there, Fuller Street looks like a good, uh, really looks like good street, a like good uh, house beside the house. Good piece of land. So, that nine Fuller. I just checked it out. It looks like a good piece of land. This one. If that's ninety nine Fuller Street. Where, where is Fuller Street? Which one is that? Go down South Street. Turns into four. Okay. Okay. I know what East Street is. The one that turns to dirt. The. So it's like right at that intersection. It's weird though. It looks like there's a house. And we have a house limits. behind it, kind of like a retreat. Yeah, but we have unregistered vehicle requests. We do? Yeah, we do. We don't have an unregistered vehicle or request. I think this was at the selectman's meeting. It will, that time. Be, it will be going to the selectman's oh, meeting. Because I went to that selectman's one. meeting and I. I heard them talking about the unregistered vehicles. They were talking about some guy. Well, I know Larry signed off on two of them. Yeah, this is a different one. Should we Larry? He likes those. Curious, like, do butters have to know about this? 
Because when I went to that, when I went to the meeting, they definitely had a party to show up. Past the street, get notified, and see that goes the type of permit where it's a school uh, tool. Okay. This should go right to the selectmen's before. Why do we? I don't understand it. Like, it, they hash it out there. Well, they also, again, making sure that we're looking at stuff that people are doing because we don't want it to become. A junkyard or a well, my issue, for repairing cars. But and well, my issue with the last it. time is like we don't. Um, there's not enough information on that for us to make a determination anyway. Nor do we necessarily have the authority to direct them or require them to do anything. Right. So it's one thing, one thing I noticed at least at that meeting is that the selectmen were very were very interested of why they have why some of these individuals have multiple or even just one extra unregistered vehicle and they gave them a time frame to get those out of the out of their property like <coughs> a person that had a hobby of just moving one car that he had as just a parts car into his into a regular car they're like you got five months to get it out of there so, and that was the majority of their rulings. Like, they gave time frames to give them out. So, regardless of us saying it's okay, they they basically just said... Well, this, this is asking whether or not we want to do a site plan to... Or if we have any conditions, concerns, and anything like that. Any comments? As long as it's okay, as long as stuff's not leaking into the ground and the neighbors are okay with it. And no one could see it from the road. It's a residential house just with a couple of junky cars on it. You well, can't see it from the, the road. How do they even know about it? I would argue, what's the site plan review that we could even do on a residential house? I have to ask them that. Stop it. Motion to. Okay. Motion to give that to Larry. <laughs> <laughs> motion to suspend this until Larry returns so you can sign his name on the bottom of it. <laughs> If you don't want to act on it, you don't have to. I think we should pass on it. I just, I felt like last time that there wasn't enough, or, I don't know. It wasn't going to approve that so I, I they don't need my permission to when when ask for it. I mean, I think Mark should sign up on it. No way. Like last time, like I did one, and the bike up over here. Oh, you're really good at these. He's like, I don't really care. Okay, so we have uh, Mark Sheldon, 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 Mark so is this like essentially the same permit you would get for a car dealership when you're getting unregistered <laughs> vehicles? I think it was why, why would you have a permit for just to allow me to... Our bylaws the, only allow yeah, you to have one, one registered vehicle, that's why. Yeah. You have to go to the selectman to get a permit for just one. Just a special permit. Oh, it's a, it's a permit, not even a variance from Correct. the Correct. Okay. And that permit has an expiration date. So do you want to table it for the meeting? I think yes. you should. That's what okay. It's time. okay. So they were asking us to formally make a decision on whether or not even if I was going to make that decision, okay. this is um, Properties, I think I gave you guys um, little notes about some properties on Crystal Lake. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if you guys had a chance to look at this. If you didn't, I didn't send it to you by email because I just got so, this big one this afternoon. Um, so, so this is from the assessor's office? The assessor's to... office gave me the map that she wanted to know if any of us knew anything about that blackened triangle in the middle. Okay. Because it's been in the airport forever. She wanted to know what was going on with the property. And then I got, um, this morning, was early this afternoon, the email from Charlie in regards to um, uh, Mr. Cook. Yeah. And mentioned that Mr. Wesson, I think Mr. Wesson is on that plan. His name is on that plan. I think it all is connected. So this is prepared for William and Roberta Scherer. Oh, okay. I thought Mr. Wesson was on here somewhere. 
The, the reason I saw that is um, James in, the, in the letter from Mr. Cook, it says that uh, I am asking for the town to suspend any further permitting or review of plans for sale by Robert Wesson or his associates as the property they have acquired was largely acquired by fraud or other means from my family. So that's yeah, the reference it's been in land court. that I've seen about that. Which, which property is this plan even talking about? Just All right. Again, you know what Oak, sure if Oak Street, if you took like the left, heading towards Pembroke, sure. and then before Stetson Pond on your right, yeah. it's a dirt road on your left. It, there's a couple paper streets out there, and there's a, like the houses are kind of sporadically placed out in the woods. Yeah. But even this lot here, is it just one lot, or is there like three lots here that they're creating? Well, they're not really creating anything. I think that's what's there right now. This was from 19, I'm sorry, 2006. But I don't believe the planning board ever did a Form A or anything on this. This is just a plan of land that apparently they recorded. Yeah, yeah I, bet you this. I think we did sign something. But we wouldn't have signed non-conforming lots. I assume that this, this was on some old, you know, ancient plan. Yep, with camp lots. And we don't, there are no signatures or even a planning board block on this. Yeah, it's just plan. a plan of land. We have the existing condition plan. I don't really have any history or any knowledge of this. The assessor just wanted me to see mm -hmm. if Gordon, because Gordon's the only <laughs> member that was here in 2006, if he remembered anything or knew anything about it. And all that letter says is that they're getting to plan legal one book page for rank length, so we shouldn't do anything yeah, if it does come in front of us. Exactly. That's what it says, right? And we can't make non conforming lots anyway, so if he's looking to redivide, it has to meet current zoning. And again, I'm not even sure if the, the plan of land goes with Mr. Cook and Mr. Wesson. Imagine it must if somebody gave it to you, right? Hmm? Somebody gave you this plan, right, as part of that, this the assessor, discussion? Our, yeah. our principal assessor gave me the plan of land, and then this came in, and because it looks to be like all Crystal Lake, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was connected. Okay. Hmm. We did so, take action in Crystal Lake over there for something. Off the top of my head, I can't recall. I didn't think it was on this side of the lake, though. I think it was on the this side of the lake. <coughs> Well, if you guys want to bring that the, the home and take a look, that's fine. Um, the, yeah, we'll get there. We'll clean the water. The uh, IT guy wanted to know what uh, the planning board would like to do with our projector and our screen. So, <laughs> if we would like to put it in here, I don't know how much this would get out of it. Or if we would like to put it up in like the Great Hall or in the Selectman's room. Can we just share it whoever wants it? We if we, yeah, if we did it in the Great Hall, then at least everyone would have access, right? I mean, we don't use it enough to say that. They have access here, though. I enter. I mean, conservation meets here, and mm -hmm. zoning meets here. Yeah, Board of Health meets here. Yeah. Um, I, I'd say they'd have to just check with the specifications on the unit because there's probably some sort of distance out or projection, you know, for the unit itself as far as the distance. Screen up would be nice because then it would be usable. Yeah, but I, like I'm saying, like, you still got to figure out if the unit says, I'm going to be 35 feet away from the screen. That wall, that wall. Yeah. Can't do it there. Oh, People yeah. sitting there. So if you. Place in here. If you want it placed anywhere, you'd like it placed in here. Yeah. Okay. 
when you say place tier, you mean just house tier for whatever? No, it's like made. actually hung up. It's we have a screen. Oh, it's like a box. It's a permanent, semi-permanent thing. Yeah. Well, it's a screen. It's a screen, and yeah, we have a projector. Like a pop-up screen where you put out. I don't the know. It's still on the wall. <laughs> and we use it all the time. Yeah. I think it's actually one that you put on the wall. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, it could be mounted in here if somebody wants. To put it in the great hall, you can move the screen to the great hall. You can put a motor on it, so you can just put it well, in the That's what I'm like, I don't know if this is a unit that's going to get mounted up on the thing or if it's a tabletop thing. Table or, oh, all right. I wasn't sure if it was. Yeah, that's the newest, the newest thing. It just drops down, yeah. then retracts back up. You don't even see it. And you don't see it now either. <laughs> <laughs> We're ahead of the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving on. Um, that was a good one. The Zoning Board of Appeals has sent a memo out for any and all input. I gave you guys a copy of this. They would like your <coughs> thoughts or uh, opinions on the five year in law renewal mm -hmm. with a uh, check and balance and what. Um, I think it should be. Can we officially, as a board, say that we should get rid of that mm -hmm. five-year review? So that came up during the selectmen's meeting again, mm -hmm. and um, that would be my proposal. I definitely voice I voiced like my opinion about it because people were like, "Oh, we should still have a shared space and whatever." But mm -hmm. what's the point? Like, they're they're your family. I mean, everyone wants their own privacy. There really shouldn't be a shared space, right. and there shouldn't be a renewal. Yeah, and there have been you know some talk about well. Should we even right. have a, it should be a right, or should we have in my apartments at all, and just, um, if you want to have your family with you, make duplexes, which are allowable by special permit, without oh, real. It should be by right. Okay, well, what's the opinion of the board, because I have to get something back to zoning. Certainly, I think, certainly get rid of the five-year review. But that, that was a five-year review where you need to formally come back and get another special permit, right? Yeah. It was, well, a, it was a renewal, actually. It's a renewal, yeah, yeah. but Re yeah. apparently we weren't doing it correctly. The zoning board wasn't doing it correctly. And with special they permits, were? with special permits, and you're renewing it, you have to notify a butters. We were not mm -hmm. notifying a butters that the permit was being up for renewal. Mm -hmm. So they want to add, if you're looking here, they want to add into our bylaws that a butters now need to be notified. I don't think so. I don't agree with that. But if we don't have a five-year renewal in place, you don't have to notify a butter. But they then want checks and balances in some sense. So See, they're all, looking for everyone's opinion. I'm all for the checks and balances. We don't need to formally request another permit renewal where somebody should check in on them periodically, whatever that number is, to confirm they're not mm. airbnb it or charging somebody rent and having renters in there as opposed to family. We did have an after data that we were sending out to the um, in-law permit holders, yep. and they were signing and having it verified or notified. notarized that everything was the same. And signing it saying everything is still the same. How and that's what that? every five years according to our bylaw. Yep. Um, but because it's a special permit and with I think Mass General Law, if you have a special permit and it has to be renewed, a better need to be notified, but we were not doing that. Yeah, that's why I think it's fine to probably strip the formal renewal yep. requirement and continue with that affidavit and have it reviewed by somebody at the city. But then but you can't have the renewal. You, but you don't need to have renew it. I guess they would have the right to rescind the special permit if they're not complying. Right. But for example, like for if if a neighbor <clears throat> a neighbor seeing like a like younger people staying in like seeing like they're potentially renting out or hearsay or see stuff like that, they can come in front of the zoning board and say they're in non compliance. And they can get their permit pulled right away. And on top of it, they're signing an affidavit, which is a legal contract, in which case you're you're basically swearing an oath saying that it is an in-law apartment. So the town of Halifax is covered. As long as they're not stirring up the pot and causing ruckus, there's no point. It should all just be by right. The other girl and I did do some research, and the majority of towns do not have a renewal process at all. No. No expiration date, no. 
but do they have some sort of a confirmatory process where somebody has to confirm that it's not? I do not believe so. I think once it's, once it's issued, it's issued. And nobody ever checks in on them? Parents nobody ever. Them or, I mean, I didn't get that far in my research. Yeah. I was just looking to see if they had a renewal process. But it doesn't mean that couldn't just be a stipulation with a special permit that they submit an affidavit every few years. Right. That doesn't seem like the end of the world. Okay. Just submit a yeah. But what's the form. what's the difference between if they already signed the affidavit, like if they're if they're not they telling sell, you the they truth? Sell the house. What's I, the I family member passed away? But it's what I'm saying is like, what's the value of like asking process. them again? Because like Which, if they lied ooh. the first time or oh, it's like, like, what would, it helps us from having to check on them proactively. That way, you get a piece of paper, you look at it, and say, oh, okay, yeah, this is a this is an in-law apartment, they're saying they're complying, maybe I'll swing by and take a look at it. But that's kind of my thing, is like if all you're doing is like, oh hey, are you still doing that legally? Most hey, people I'd, are going to say yes. I'd take, I'd take a form, every two years, let's say, every two years that's or so, they have to wrong. submit submit a form that says, what, you think like an the people are ratting vote. themselves out? And if they well, don't submit it, yeah. they go, oh, flag, we'll give you a second notice saying, hey, you know, you haven't submitted your form, like, can you just submit a form for us? And if you still don't submit it, then hey, guess what? We're knocking on your door. I'm actually dealing with two or three right now that we have not received any notice back for their renewals. Yeah. So I gotta send it out again. Exactly. And honestly, I, just my opinion, I don't think the town should be chasing people like this. No. Yeah, I mean, just my own I'm, I'm okay with not doing the five year renewal. Too. Chasing people in Wolfway for not complying. I also think well, it should be because by because right. Because they have to come in to do their renewals. Yep. So I have Spend to correct time I send them a letter, they don't respond, I have to send them another. They don't I mean, the, respond, I have to send them another. The whole thing kind of comes down to, you know, you're going to give somebody a permit, they're going to build this, and then in five years you're going to tell them you can't use that space anymore. Yeah, so that's, six so that's why yeah, I don't agree with the current process, yeah. but if you're misusing what you got your previous approval for, then certainly you should caught. get your use taken away. You'll get caught, or karma's going to be... But, it, but here's the thing, you, okay, you take the use away, what does that mean? That means that they're They can't not, use that space? Yeah. Now it's square footage, well, they could sell it. Really <laughs> how are you going to stop them from using that space? How do you, you, stop, up and you stop somebody from an office space using it for industrial use if all of a sudden they decide they want to change it someday and start using it a different way? Because it's their house. <laughs> it's their house. It's their own. <laughs> you, you, you are not going to regulate what somebody does in their house. No. So are you advocating for... Can't put that chair there. No. I mean, I, I, I don't know. If you for no renewal. That argument, I would say that everything should be of right, right? What's the point of going through a special should be. We are, I think we're all in agreement. Yeah. It should be by right. And, it, and, that, and then you don't have to worry about having the five-year renewal because you already have the right to do it. So if we're, house. if we're assuming everybody's going to break the law anyway, <laughs> and we're going to say that everybody house, gets, a, gets approval for an in-law, and then it's just going to rent it out as an accessory apartment or a two-family. Well, if it gets if it gets rowdy, then they, people are going to complain and they'll get caught. But to that point, what are we going to do? But like he's saying, if there's no issue, then there's no issue. If there's no if there's no problems, then it's not hurting anybody. Then. Everybody's happy. End of story. To your point, if if they get caught in front of the zoning board and say, hey, your in-law apartment is now not considered an in-law apartment anymore, please, you can't rent that out to a specific person, like a family member, well, what are they going to do? They're just going to not call it an in-law apartment anyways. And, I mean, there's just like parents asking kids for rent when they're living at home. Or say you get an in-law that lives there, and then the in-law yeah, passes sad. away, but you were dependent upon the income of the thing. Like obviously, this is these are things that are going to happen. Yeah. You, you take on in-laws. In-laws are no longer there for one reason or another. Now, what do you do with the thing? <laughs> well, you're not allowed to rent it out. You got to find a different approach, right? So you're saying that you're not going to sell there. your house because in-laws are no longer. So you're gonna, you're gonna break the law because you need to make a little extra money. Yeah. There's other ways to make money. I really don't think it should be a law. It's by right. It's by right. That's why if it's by right, and you can 
But you're still talking about in-laws. It doesn't matter if it's special permit oh, by right. If it's still food. an in-law, you can't charge for it. And if all of a sudden start charging for it, you're a two-family, right? Or you're a rental. Well, I mean, you know, the bylaw does allow for duplexes. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so, just so classify everything as a duplex? Have everybody come in and ask for duplex rather than... Oh, well, that's And then they great. just have to deal with building code. Yeah, which is probably far worse as what far as requirements for a duplex, duplex versus I would like to add on a room for a, a yeah. family member. Yeah. I don't know. A small room, they're going to have to get a duplex. Yeah, now you're going to have to provide double everything. And well, I mean, if you're only going to supply a room for somebody, then that's no, not, I mean, like, that's that's not, not even, even an Even getting, even making a small room, maybe with this, like, something that could be... 300 square foot, I mean, that's a, would that really qualify for a duplex? <laughs> no. No, but you have, have 750 that. square feet. But the whole concept of an in-law is, right, you have a separate kitchen and a bathroom and access and all that stuff. So right. it's gonna Basically, be it's a separate than, dwelling unit. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, but I've I've however, our bylaws here also as say as well. shared living space and... Shared living space is required? Yeah. Shared living space is required. And you can't put a door on it to separate it. And it's, well, that it's not actually in the bylaw. That's not. No, it just says shared living space and a shared entrance. The zoning board of appeals have just, in common practice, past practice, required no door and at least a six foot opening. What does that mean? You have to have an opening between the two units of at least six feet with no door. So, so you can't close your door. You don't have a door. So it's not really... <laughs> you can have a curtain, though, because so that's not that, a door. How is that anything other than just putting an extra kitchen in your house? Right. Which you can't buy right. Yeah. So why even have the need for having an in-law? So can we just sum this up to say... Because you want to put people in jail. <laughs> so apparently we're not going to do that anyway, so... <laughs> So it's a planning board's decision here, because we, we've gone over this for like 15 we've minutes, still, and we, yes, I think we're we all have, on the same page. We've talked about it, I don't know how many times in the past. I well. think we're all on the same page. Yeah, so I guess the point is, right, what's the, what's the point of having a permit? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It should just be a right. Other than that would be a mechanism for preventing people from potentially renting them out for profit. But it doesn't. Well, that would pretend, that's why I say potentially. It's the same thing with like renting a room for profit, 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 profit or a thing, and nobody money. does that for no, no that's reason. Some, you're <laughs> making money. <laughs> renting, <laughs> yeah, put it that way. You're renting more than a dollar. Can we take a vote? I, I can rent a room in my house if I want. Can you technically? Yeah, why would you do that? Uh, all around you live it now. <laughs> 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 all right, let's get a little serious here, people. Jonathan. Right and no uh, buy right and no five year renewal. Say it again. Oh, I said it. Buy right and no five year renewal after David signed. Well, every I, think two years. It, I think we just go buy right, right? Well, because that eliminates right, the right. renewal. So I, Fine. I yeah. go buy right. Buy right. Buy right. Gordon? He wants to be the teeter totter. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree that's Carlos first. first. You could Gordon act has in no your professional. By the way. And, and I would be fine with that as well, as long as it still meets the definition of a uh, in law apartment, meaning that they're not charging for them, right? Isn't that one of the stipulations of no. what qualifies no. as an in law? I'm going to charge my in laws if they <laughs> Okay. So yeah, but, but I, I guess think that's a lot the of the thing about the in-laws is where like, like okay, we have limited resources and, and or whatever. So like what are the current rules on renting? Right? 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 We don't have rules on renting. So are you allowed to have a two-family then? If, if that's by what you can have a duplex. By special permit. And you can have a two-family by a special permit. So then allowing this by right allows everybody to run around that and just saying it's an in-law apartment, right? I'm allowed to do this by right. Yeah. So everybody's now got a two-family opportunity on their houses, and you can rent out your. But again, yeah. but you still have to. As your building still has to fit setbacks. You still can't. Certain criteria. So they spend a lot of money. Mm. It, not really. Slap on an extra. 
bedroom and a kitchen. Oh yeah, what's that? Six, seven grand, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> I just got that in my back pocket. Okay, it's, no, like, it's say, point say, being, say right. it like it's not a big deal. So the it's, point being, right, if you live in a single family residential neighborhood, your neighbor just wants to tack on an extra bedroom and a kitchen and a bathroom, it's gonna cost them what, 58 grand, whatever it may be still, but say everybody starts doing it, now you've got twice as many families living all around you that you're just allowed to buy right. Yeah, I don't think it's as extreme as that, though. Well, <laughs> I mean, if you're saying uh, in-laws is by right, then you're saying it's a family member. That's, that's, that's the definition of in-law. You're basically adhering if, you, if you're looking to do a duplex, then you have to go and get a special permit. Yeah. Right. So the in-law requirement does indicate that it has to be a direct yeah, yes. 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 Yes, 100%. That's why I'm cool with it. Mm. That's why yeah. Mark is so cool. So in law, by <laughs> right, means <laughs> yeah. definition of in law, blood relative. Yeah. yeah. I think I would be fine with that. I think that's unanimous. Let's see, blood relative. That's my mother in law. Blood relative. No, me? No, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, you know what I mean. Carl's yeah. trying to it's, say, it's, how do I not let my in laws stay with me? <laughs> I can have to let all the people <laughs> Now you may do the meeting minutes, Gordon. I can't. I approve <laughs> the meeting minutes. I would like minutes. to approve the meeting minutes for <laughs> October, October 15th. 19th, I think. We don't have them. October 5th. No, well, look, okay, October 5th. Which Make is, sure whoever is here yes. is present. Gordon, Mark, Carlos. Oh, I'm going to have to sit back on the floor. Still fifth. Yeah, we still have some old stuff. Seventeen. It's not too bad. Anything going on down there that drew us rain? <laughs> yes, we have um, one house is um, permitted. Uh, I believe. I don't think I got his ass built yet, and we just got an application for another one. So he's starting to move. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you have to do it. I second approval of these minutes. There's a, been a motion and a second to approve October 5th, 2017 minutes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, I think October 19th is in there too. Um, we'll have it um, for Five minutes. I know. I said you would have last. No. You're in right. True. I was here the Christmas time too. Christmas? I was a little late, but we still opened it. They'll be on the table somewhere. Is there not in my folder? Do you have them there? Yeah, look at that. Gordon, Carlos, Jonathan. Oh, we can do this one too. Well, we can get to overtime tonight. Here you go. <coughs> Gordon, Carlos, and Mark. We can do this one too. Wow. I make a motion to accept the November 17th of 2017 Planet Calvax Planning Board meeting minutes. Is a motion or a second? I will second, provided I can. Yes, you can. All those in favor? Aye. 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 What date was that? Uh, November 17th, 2017. Aye. Oh, wait. Thank you. Here. What is that one? It was me, Gordon, and Mark. Okay. I make a 
a motion to approve the meeting minutes from February 1st, 2018. Okay, I have a motion for February 1st minutes. Is there a second? I'll second that. All, right, all in favor? All right. All right. Can I read them now? <laughs> You got to, not yet. No. So this one got continued, the uh, the Pope's Tavern, for next yes. time? Yeah, we did continue this tonight. They just went down south of the earth. Yes. How many of their half loaner? It's just, we didn't do February 1 yet. Yeah, we did. We just did. Yeah, we oh. just did. You weren't so, here. All right, no, yeah. did you say no? uh, Was the other one 19th? Or? October 19th. That we haven't done? Correct, have yes, we haven't done that. Okay. One. What's it on that? You guys are on the wrong one? No, but you're fishing. You're doing two of these? I guess you are. <laughs> Alright. The last I don't know what's out there at this point. The last one. I'd like to make a motion to accept the Halifax Planning Board meeting minutes for October 19th, 2017. And this is Carlos, Mark, and myself that were present. I will second that motion. What date? October 19th, 2017. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Two, three? Yep. Yep. Does that clear out the whole cash? Um, I... Th no, there's one more. So Larry. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I think, um, now we're done. Okay. Oh, that night, huh? Make a motion with Jared. That's awesome. Second. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah.